how much does a musician make playing in Nashville and the honky-tonk scene of Lower Broadway? And if you don't know, the honky-tonk scene on Lower Broadway is a stretch uh, in downtown Nashville where at any time of day from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m., you're going to have, I think, at least 60 stages with anywhere from one to even eight, nine musicians on it at a time. And these musicians play in shifts, and the shifts are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and then 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., then 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And that's how a lot of people make their living. Maybe they use it as a supplemental income, maybe they use it as their whole income. But I've had a lot of people, both musicians and non-musicians, ask me in some way, shape, or form, how much money are you making? And that all depends. And I can share my experience and what I've observed. And by no means am I an expert. Uh, I would still say I'm a newcomer to town. I've been in town about a year. I've never really played country music before I came to Nashville. So this scene, all this scene is new to me and I still find myself kind of breaking into it. Um, but that being said, it's a big part of my income and it's steady when I'm not on the road. I know I can go on to Broadway and play some shifts. So how much do you get paid? That's what you really want to know. Well, let's break it down. In every bar and every venue, every time slot is going to be a little bit different, but I'll give you some general things that I've observed. So base pay, that's what the bar or the venue is going to pay the band. Um, and that's what they're going to pay them flat. And depending on how many people you have in your group, and depending on what the venue is, base pay for a four hour shift for an individual musician, I've seen it uh, range anywhere from 50 to 150 to $175. And there's maybe some wiggle room outside of that, but generally that's what I see base pay as in Nashville. Now base pay is just kind of, all right, that's your guaranteed money. Where most people make their money um, playing on Nashville is through tips. So a patron can come up and ask for a song um, and you know, they tip a certain amount. Um, I've heard the going rate is $10, $20 for a song. Um, some people just tip money because they like the music or they want to support the musicians. Um, but musicians find clever ways of, of optimizing the situation, whether that's having a QR code for their Venmo, whether that's playing uh, fun little games to interact with the audience to encourage them to tip more. Um, but tipping is a huge part of it. And that's where you can see just a wide variance. And that can depend on who you're playing with. And there's a plane going overhead right now. I have no idea if you're gonna be able to hear me over this, so I'm just gonna keep on talking. Or maybe I'll cut this out and post. Anyhow, uh, with your tips, that, that is the real wild card. And it really varies on what day it is, what time of day it is, what time of year it is. Is it cold outside? Is it warm outside? Um, who are the people you're playing with? What's the vibe you're getting? Are these people skilled at soliciting tips? Um, or do people just put it up there and don't like to ask about it? And I could talk about strategies with that. I could fill up a whole nother video, but I say there's a pretty big variance. And the way I see it is that with my experience on Broadway, I've made anywhere from like $50, including tips on a shift, all the way up to about $500. And I know there's people that make more than that on a shift. Today, I played a 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. shift. This is a Saturday, and it was nice weather, and it's late April, so things are picking up. Uh, I made about $200, which is not bad. Um, if I can make that on a shift, I'm usually, I'm usually happy. Sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's a ballpark of what I expect. Now, some people who are new into the scene and trying to break in, they may not make that much because they might be like tucked in a back corner on like the fourth floor of a honky tonk. Some people who have been in the scene a little bit longer are on the main stage of one of like the, the, the big honky tonks where has a lot of foot traffic, those people make it a lot more money based on tips. Again, this, there's a wide variance. But I like to break it down in the way that is money, is, is that your sole um, measure of what you're doing on Broadway? And if that is, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, because after all, this is a job. How I kind of view it as, I'm like, all right, this is paid practice for me. This is 
paid ways to develop my skills, develop my knowledge. This is paid ways to network, um, to, to generate contents. This is paid ways for me to build relationships with people. Um, so I don't worry about the money. Of course, do I get excited when I get a lot of money and tips at the end of the night? Absolutely, and that gives me more freedom to do other things. But I never go into it like making financial decisions or thinking I have to get this many tips or I'm not gonna take this shift because I don't think they'll get good tips. I really, um, again, another plane going overhead. Really for me, this is a long game. They say Nashville's a 10 year town. Um, I don't know if that's just for the alliteration, uh, but really I'm looking at it as, okay, I wanna meet people who call me for other gigs, other gigs outside of Broadway maybe, or this is a way, this is maybe my day job and maybe I'll go and network outside of here and like go to some songwriter rounds, go to some original sets. But really, I don't look at it just in dollar signs. In fact, I would take less money to play with people that I really enjoy um, as people and enjoy as musicians than to play with people who make more money but maybe I don't know them or maybe I don't, um, their style of music isn't what I like to play. And Really, that's just me. And I also know that some people do double, triple, even quadruple. Yeah, that's 16 hours of playing in one day because um, they're all about making that money. And for me, that's totally fine. I'm never going to knock someone for doing that. I also pace myself a little bit on Broadway. Um, I'm not going to be doing three shifts back to back. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't have the mental capacity to do that. And every time I play, I want to play to my best ability and I want to play 100% and bring that energy and focus. And I just don't have it yet to do it for like 12 hours straight. Um, eight hours is pushing it. Um, but again, everybody's a little bit different. Everyone has different values. And it's about, not about thinking, okay, like this is what I have to get out of Broadway. You know, this is like, okay, what can you get? You know, what's there? How can you make some money? How can you make some connections? And what are you gonna use Broadway for? Um, so yeah, and again, depending on time of year, I might make a lot more, I might make a lot less, but I'm not looking at it just as money, um, money as a sole measure of my success there. And I encourage people to look at it as like a long game. Like, don't count pennies after every gig. Don't say, oh, I'm only gonna make like $75 on this shift, oh man. Um, because it all averages and evens out in the end financially, musically, personally. So yeah, um, that probably gives you more questions than answers, but it's kind of the beginning of a conversation of what a musician makes on uh, Broadway in Nashville. If you want to see more content like this, if you have any specific questions, drop me a, you know, drop me a comment. Follow, like, subscribe, um, but tell me what you want to hear because I've been talking to other musicians and there's kind of a lot of us are playing on Broadway, but not a lot of people are talking about like the specific ins and outs. And I would really like, I make videos that I think, what would I would have appreciated when I came to town? And knowing something like this would give me some pretty good perspective. So if you're new in town, um, drop me a line. I'd be, I would love to be able to help out. Or if you have been in town a while and you think there's something I'm not touching or missing, feel free to let me know. But again, this is really a conversation and I just like talking about music. I like making music and I want to help other musicians. So uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like, follow, subscribe. Happy weekend.